I don't really have the best feeling about finding anything here, but it's always fun to go and look, and you never know what you're gonna discover. Hey! <laughs> it's raining again today, and I am going um, toy hunting to a toy convention. Uh, it's in Mississauga, Ontario, so I'm staying in province and in country today. Hopefully I find some good stuff. What I'm hoping to find are Stargate figures, some G.I. Joe line from the 90s, that's really awesome, and Dick Tracy figures. The last time I was at this particular convention, I managed to find three figures. Oh, here's my bus, I gotta go. <laughs> or do you wanna see me going on the bus? Forty four north, Mississauga Road to Meadowdale. Oh, I got the whole bus to myself. Yes, so the last time I managed to find three Dick Tracy figures on card for three dollars each, I would like to get the whole series, even though one of them faceless one is impossible to get and I think it's thousands of dollars just for that one. So maybe one day if I get enough subscribers. So I'm gonna go to the bank first and then the hotel is over there. I don't really have the best feeling about finding anything here but it's always fun to go and look and you never know what you're gonna discover. Like, I didn't know that I wanted Dick Tracy figures until I had a good look at them at shows like this. Batman and the Batmobile are here. Hop on in.
Okay, there are my Stargate figures. I gotta ask to see those. Thanks. 
prices. I got these complete carded for $10 each. that these action dolls were a thing before. I mean, I guess I knew that these existed, but I didn't realize that pretty much the same thing that Hasbro is putting out now. Since I'm already up here, I thought I would check out where the new Mattel warehouse is. It's raining. I got some good stuff. I found all of the things I was looking for, but they were selling the Stargate figures as a set, and I already have six of them. Even though $80 was a fantastic price to get all of them, I didn't do it. Okay, here it is. I can see some toys over to the left. But I can't, oh, you can see some Hot Wheel displays maybe right there, but then they have their cash set up. You can't really see anything inside, but they do have stuff in there. There's toys in there. I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna get so many new toys. So this is like a week after the show. I've been busy the whole time, and I haven't got around to showing you what I got. So like I said, I was going for Dick Tracy figures. I found Dick Tracy figures. I got two, four, well, I got nine of them. I put my old ones that I had before with the collection. So I'm missing two. One of them is impossible to get. This one right here, the blank, which is Breathless Mahoney underneath. It's a mask on. I didn't get flat top. This one. That's the only one I don't have now, but this is awesome. I did find everything that I went looking for. Oh! It's a good thing I'm opening those. It was so long ago, what else did I get? Oh, I picked up this guy for a dollar. So I guess he's an adventure man, action man. And I got this turtles, I hope I don't have him, for $5. So that's a great price for a metalhead figure. He's a hunky and chunky figure. The turtles are good practice for me for not being a completist, so I don't always get all of them. I just get the chunky, hunky ones that I really like. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I have to keep my legs straight because I hurts my back and I always fall asleep. Does my hair look okay?